All righty, I've got this Scar DDX. It's a dual 4 ohm voice call sub. I have the voice calls wired in series, so it's going to be an 8 ohm load. All right, I have the base head garage watt meter hooked up, and I have the uh, the 12 volt source. So it's it's actually set 14 and a half volts from its uh, current limiting power supply, and that the only thing it's doing is supplying. Uh, power to power the, the watt meter. All right, then I've got these two it's, uh, clamps. This one is uh, set to AC clamp max, and this one is AC voltage minimum. So this is going to measure the, the voltage drop, and right here that's before the switch. I have it connected to the wall socket up here. So when I turn the switch on, it's going to send current to the speaker and the current's going to be measured through this clamp and the clamp for the base head garage watt meter. And we're going to uh, test the power from the wall socket for one. And then we're also going to compare the, uh, the base head garage watt meter with the clamp and uh, voltmeter. All right, so here we go. Let me get my calculator. Let me get my calculator handy. All right, so I've got my calculator handy. All right, so here we go. All right, so. On the base head garage watt meter, on the current side, we have 11.5 amps of current. And here we have 11.4 amps of current. So the current, uh, the current measurements is pretty, is pretty much the same on these two. And we've got 119.4 volts here and 121.1 volts here on this meter. So let's go... Uh, Let's do this, 121.1 times 11.4, and that's what's on these two meters, 1380.54, so let's scroll through here. So 1379, apparent power, that's the volt amps, and that's exactly what we calculated here with these two meters here, 1379 on the base head garage watt meter, 1380 with the clamp and the volt meter. That's a, a definite uh, pass in my book. That is dead on balls accurate. Um, so now let's, with the power factor, again, I'm not intelligent enough to know what the power factor means with AC voltage. Now Ohm's law, I, I, know, that, I know Ohm's law, but when it comes to AC uh, circuit, Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit dumbfounded here, but guess what? It calculates that shit right here with the base head garage watt meter. So 1,273 watts. So if we're doing it the old style, if we're doing it old school and calculating the uh, current and the voltage, and we're coming up with 1,380 watts, well, that, apparently that's incorrect because it's actually 1,273 watts right here with, because this little unit here, it uh, calculates the, um, what you call it? The power factor. It calculates the power factor in with it. So we, we've got the, uh, the voltage. It's a little, little off, you know, is this one faster than this one? Probably. This one's just a cheap, cheap meter, like 40 bucks on Amazon. Uh, of course, you know, the clamp the clamp was about the same, but you know, again, you know, these are budget conscious, uh, pieces of equipment here that a lot of people can afford. So, but right here, this tells me what I need to know. This base head garage watt meter is pretty daggone accurate. As long as you understand what it is reading and right here, voltage and current, which is V's for voltage, A's for amperage, and amperage is current. 
11.4 here. Let me turn the light on, the backlight. 11.4 amps of current, 11.5 amps of current here. And then over here on the AC voltage, 121.1 volts on the minimum. That was the, the very minimum. So 119.4 volts here. Um, so again, this could be reading faster than this one. And of course, this one can be reading faster than this one here too. And that could be the, uh, the, the difference in the numbers. But look at that, the uh, apparent power, the uh, volt amps, I mean, the, yeah, yeah, the volt amps, 1,379 volt amps on the base head garage watt meter, 1,380 and a 0.54, uh, doing it old style with the clamp and the volt meter, right? So then we go over here, uh, 1,273 watts peak. All right, that is part one. Let's do part two. Again, this was eight ohm. The voice calls was in series. Next video, voice calls in parallel. Let's see what it does at two ohm. That's all for this one.